wondered how to learn how to play the ukulele? If so, you're in the right place. Dito sa Kababayan today, meron tayong master ukulele player. Kasama natin si Kale Gamiao at tuturuan niya ako maglaro ng ukulele. So what I just said is, they're in for a special treat because if they've <laughs> always wanted to learn how to play, awesome. now is the opportunity. So, what's the first step that I should know um, if I want to learn how to play the ukulele? Okay, so the first step is uh, if you notice the ukulele only has four strings. Mm -hmm. uh, the guitar has six, so you're taking away strings, so it's a little bit easier to hold chords. Now, the tuning of the ukulele is very unique also. It's tuned G, C, E, A, or if you want to call it, my dog has fleas. My dog sense. has fleas, yes. yeah, okay. Okay, so we have our first string on the bottom, mm -hmm. second string, third string, fourth string. And so the, ba the most basic thing you have to remember about when you play the ukulele is how to hold it. So I want, I'm going to give you the ukulele in just a minute. So you're going to hold it like this. So you're going to let the bottom rest on your lap. And your left hand is going to be the one that's going to hold the chords. Mm -hmm. And your right hand is going to do all the strumming. Okay. All right. So let's, you can have right. that. So just rest it. Find a comfortable position for you. All right. So your thumb, you want to leave your thumb in the back of the neck. Right. Oh, this is called the neck. Yeah, so okay. this is the neck. This is the neck of the ukulele. So your thumb is going to go behind the neck. Uh huh. Right? And so on your left hand, we have our first finger. Yes. Second finger. Yes. Third finger. Uh -huh. And fourth finger. Okay. So what I want you to do is to take your first finger, put it on the bottom string, and count up three spaces. The spaces are called frets. Frets. So one, one two, two, three frets. Yeah, so from here, from one, yeah. two, two, three. 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 Okay. On Good. the bottom? Yes, the bottom okay. string. Now, with your right hand, uh -huh. you're going to take your, your thumb, mm -hmm. right? And then you're going to use the flesh of your fingers, and you're going to go do a down stroke. Good. Okay. So this is your first chord. This is a C major. C major. So that's how easy it is to play the ukulele. On the guitar, it would be much more difficult. The reason why is because you have more strings. Right. So you have to use more fingers. Okay, if we want to learn more mm -hmm. on how to play the ukulele, yeah. where can people go? Well, right now with uh, technology and there's yeah. so much resources available to us, YouTube is a good place to start. Okay. Uh, a good friend of mine and also a Filipino, is uh, Audrey. A Pinoy, I yeah. like that. <laughs> Audrey Guerrero. Okay. So him and his friends, uh, they run a site called ukuleleunderground.com. Ukuleleunderground.com. Yes. Okay, and we can go to that site and yep. there's instructions. There's free videos, how to hold, how to strum the ukulele. And there's also, you can also become a member. So there's a huge ukulele community worldwide. Wow. And so that's a great thing to be a part of. Okay. Well, uh, I also want to know about the ukulele. Is there a special way that you um, have to take care of it? I, I don't know. Like, do you, you have to put it in a box every time you travel? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, like all instruments, you, wanna, you, you really want to be gentle with it. Um, but if you look at mine, there's a lot of scratches only because I play it too much. Okay. <laughs> but uh, there are many different cases. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just fine. How much usually, if I want to get a starter ukulele, yes. how much usually should I save up for? Well, it depends on um, what size you get. We have the smallest, which is a soprano. Oh. A concert is a little bigger. This is a tenor. Then you have the biggest one, which is a baritone. I didn't know that there were four sizes to yes. an ukulele. Yes, yes. So okay. there are different sizes and different woods to choose from. A good uh, price to get a starter youth would probably be around 120 to 140. Okay. And so that's not bad, considering that a lot of ukuleles nowadays in the stores come with cases and tuners. Oh, so you don't so even it's the need the whole package. The whole package. I see. Okay, so, so you have to save up for it, but yeah, it's something that you can, you know, you can um, learn online yes, at ukuleleunderground.com. Will you tell us also if people want to follow you or sure. uh, what you're doing around the world because you are our global Pinoy? <laughs> uh, where can they find more information? Well, everyone can find more information at www. 
kalegummyowl.com. So. And are you active on Twitter and Facebook and of all that? Of course. Nowadays, you kind of have to. So, uh -huh. uh, Kale Gummy Owl, that's my username for all of my accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And do uh, you actually speak and uh, talk to all, the, all your followers? I try to as much as I can. So okay. that, that's always important to get to know the people that enjoy listening to your music. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being oh, here on Kababayan so today. I can't wait to hear what you're going to come up with later <laughs> when we come back because he's going to be performing for us here on Kababayan today. So ladies and gentlemen, wag po kayong mag-switch ng channel nyo. Dito lang po kayo at manood ng Kababayan today. Pagbalik natin, maglalaro po si Kale Gamyao ng kanyang ukulele.